What do you make of the crisis in Ukraine? Do let us know on our Twitter handle at Just Nigeria TV. Would love to hear from you. Now let's bring it home. A United Nations report says nearly one in three prisoners across the world are behind bars without a trial. Nigeria has one of the highest statistics, with about 75% of the country's inmates still awaiting trial. Now, this causes severe overcrowding in prisons where conditions inside cells can become deadly. Ishak Khalid visited the southern city of Port Harcourt and spoke to some of the people affected. Have a look. A long-awaited freedom. Patrick Moses is rebuilding his life after spending the last six years in prison without trial. When I came out, I felt like this is a new world. I'm out now. I'm in a different place. Because that place, we call it hell on earth. Prison is not good. He was a conductor on a bus when police found two pistols. The passengers who he tells me owned the weapons fled and he was arrested. Life in prison was horrific. People die every day. And if you die, they won't come and open the door even if it is in the night. Even if it is midnight, others will not come and open that door. You stay there with that dead body till the morning. Some will have to sleep in the toilet. Of nearly 70,000 inmates held in Nigerian prisons, more than 51,000 are still awaiting trial due to an ineffective and extremely slow judicial system. This is one of Nigeria's maximum security prisons. We've not been allowed to film inside the cells, but officials here are telling us that the capacity is around 1,000 inmates. Currently, the number of detainees inside is almost four times the capacity. Many stay in for several years without trial. Some even die. That's a common situation across Nigeria in correctional facilities. Officials admit that there is overcrowding in prisons, but insist that inmates are properly cared for. People die everywhere. It's not only in prison that people die. Most of them are unavoidable cases. Most of our inmates don't even die in our facility. Most of the deaths recorded take place in another detention hospital or one government hospital or the other. Joy's husband died in that prison a few months ago. He was arrested in 2018 during a mass police raid. Their son, Desire, was only three days old. I remember him. When he called me last, while he was in prison, he only comforts me that I should not be crying again, that he is coming back sooner. These are the things he used in working. Joy's husband was held for three years without trial. Justice was not given to him because he was arrested of what he was innocent of and he was killed in the prison. The family believes he died of mistreatment, but authorities deny this. The government says it's determined to improve Nigeria's failing criminal justice system. But for tens of thousands of detainees and their families, the pain and trauma is never ending. Uh, we do hope Nigeria's judicial system is overhauled to address some of these issues. There's more to come here on Just Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. Health Startup creates vaccine tracking system to address child mortality in Nigeria. We bring you this story and more after the break. Stay with us.